This case revolves around a 14-year-old, Ella Jones, who mysteriously vanished after communicating with an older man she met online. Her whereabouts remain unknown for over two weeks now. Follow me as I go through real details regarding this case. Subscribe to this channel to follow more updates on missing person cases. Ella Jones is a 14-year-old teenager who lived with her family in Mount Vernon before her disappearance. Ella was last seen by her mother on the night of January 5th, 2024. Her mother, Sarah Merrill, reported that Ella was in the house and they had a normal evening before sleeping. Waking up on January 6th, Sarah discovered that her daughter was not in her room and some of her belongings were taken. The 14-year-old is believed to be wearing a black hoodie, multicolored pajamas, and black Nike Air Force shoes. Sarah asked her daughter's friends if they had seen her and visited to look for her and her friends' houses without success. Ella's friends told her mother that she had been talking to a man named Keith, who was in his late 20s or early 30s through platforms like Discord. Those who know Ella Jones best say it's unlike her not to call or text anyone or not to post to social media. Family and friends of the 14-year-old haven't seen her since January 6th. The family says her friends claim she had been communicating with an older man through online chat platforms like Discord. Discord is an app created in 2015 that became popular as an online chat room for gamers. Since then, it has become a messaging tool for a variety of communities to virtually connect, now with nearly 200 million users worldwide. It's kind of like a, a non-corporate Slack or Microsoft Teams. So there's a, it, it's just group chat. Lurking in those chats are predators who prey on children, using the app to trade child sexual exploitation material, extort minors, tricking them to send nude images, and grooming children before abducting them. Law enforcement nationwide has been warning communities about the dark sides of the platform and people who abuse it. A lot of good information you can get from the internet, but it's also that potential danger uh, with kids. The family of Ella Jones says the 14-year-old had been online chatting with a man claiming to be in his late 20s, early 30s. Her mother says she punished Ella for talking to the stranger by taking her phone away temporarily, not realizing her daughter and the older man had a deeper connection. Mount Vernon police say the teen voluntarily left her home with a backpack full of clothes on January 6th. Her mother reported her missing that same day. We're following up on leads as they come in. Of course, we're getting a lot of them. Uh, we're evaluating each one on its own merits, and those that have substantive information that we're able to follow up on, we are. Cybersecurity experts say it's not just Discord that's abused by predators. There are dark sides to many online platforms, and those dangers need to come to light. Whether it's getting someone involved in trafficking or finding ways to extract money from somebody, it, there are if, li limitless amounts of tools now at people's disposal to use for good or for bad, and we're going to see more of this before it gets better, unfortunately. To prevent a family's worst nightmare, experts suggest paying attention to changes in a child's mood and behavior, then follow up with open, frequent conversations about online safety. If you stay close with your kids, you can actually have those uncomfortable conversations about what online predators look like or what they um, can appear to be like. A lot of apps, you can um, turn off your location services so people can't look and see where you are and maybe come and, and find you. So we really encourage people to have that locked down. Meryl explained that it was the first time her daughter had disappeared and she was therefore concerned about her well-being. The 14-year-old was last captured in Stanwood, Washington, getting on a bus for the Smoky Point Everett area. The teen is suspected to be in the hands of the stranger she was communicating with before she left home. Sarah Merrill doesn't wish this anguish upon her worst enemy. I'm more emotional sitting home, and so I really want to have my boots on the ground. There is a couple of kids that did see her speaking to an adult male on a video on our computer. She reportedly met him on a social platform called Omegle. She's now been missing for 16 days. Another woman may or may not have seen her on a bus from Everett to Seattle, which is why we're in Seattle today, just trying to put up flyers. Have you seen Ella Jones? She has very distinct dimples. It's more than a hunch. Something's really wrong. It's a mother's intuition. I don't think she can call me. She has not ever run away. Um, we are very close. 
there was also not like a fight and I hate you mom and I run away kind of a situation. She wrote a note saying she loved me um, and that she didn't want to hurt us anymore. Her mother is desperately pleading for public assistance in finding her daughter. Here are some social media comments regarding the case. I don't understand why the police can't do much. She's a child. They should be out there looking for her. I pray she's found safely. Exactly. Until you've been in this situation, you have no idea. I hope she is found safely. Unfortunately, most of the state has an extreme winter storm right now. So many people are staying home. Praying she is found safe ASAP. Like, share, and leave a comment to let me know what you think about this case. Thank you for watching.